Hey guys, Lodricus here with an achievement guide for Minecraft Legends. This is for the achievement called Feed the Flames. This is to gather 2,400 lapis in 30 minutes or less in a versus mode. And in this guide, it took me around 15 minutes. First of all, load up a versus game. You can do this solo. You don't need any friends or enemies on the opposite team. Once we spawn in at the blue HQ, what we're gonna do is set up some defenses. So first of all, we're gonna put up three arrow towers just on the outskirts of the HQ. You will need to go off and gather some materials to build the rest of them. I'm gonna speed up segments of this video to about 500% speed, because you don't wanna watch me pottering around collecting resources. So what we're gonna do is put up the three arrow towers and then we're gonna get a carpenter hut. This is just to ensure when we do switch team shortly that this base does stay intact and doesn't get destroyed. Now that we've got the three towers up and the carpenter's hut, we're safe to switch sides. So press start and then X. That's going to switch us to the orange team, but unfortunately we will die and then respawn at the orange HQ. Once we spawned over at the orange HQ, what we're going to do there is do the same. Set up three arrow towers and then a carpenter's hut. So while we're off exploring and killing pigmen, our base is still going to be safe and sound and it's not going to get destroyed. So get the resources that you need. Luckily there was a chest there for me. And we're going to put up the three arrow towers and then finally a carpenter's hut. Our base is now safe and sound from the pigmen. We don't have to worry about that. We're now going to build an army of cobblestone golems. So just make sure you get plenty of stone resources for this. And also the passive lapis generation income is also kicked in. So that's slowly building up lapis so we can build some troops. Drop down a spawner, and then once that's built, just hold X to spawn in your cobblestone golems. Make as many as you can, but I think at this stage we can only move 10 at a time. So I'll lower build around 20, and um, I can only take 10 with me. Now we'll just open the map and highlight your closest pigmen base. What we're going to do is head over to there now, and what we want to get is around 200 prismarine. This is going to allow us to build some lapis flags. So get your cobblestone golems to potentially take out the towers first because those are going to cause damage and eventually kill them all off. I decided here to place another spawner just to build a few more. You can build up to 40 and just keep sending them in as various different teams. It does speed up this process a little quicker. So here I've killed a couple of the buildings. I've got 140 and now I've finished with around 245 prismarine. And then we're going to leave our troops over there, head back to the HQ. And what we want to build now is two lapis flags. Just make sure you've got plenty of stone and plenty of prismarine. Once those two have kicked off building, we're going to head back over to the pigmen base and destroy a few more buildings, which these have respawned nicely. So I'm going to send the remaining cobblestone golems in, and then we're going to get another 100 prismarine. Head back to the HQ and we're going to build our third and final lapis flag. I was short on stone there, so I just had some mining away. Now that we have three lapis flags, the lapis resource in the bottom left will be generating at a, a rapid rate. In such a rate that we can't spend it fast enough. As it maxes out at 250, you'll stop generating lapis. So what we need to do here is continually spend it. And the quickest way of doing that is to constantly build cobblestone golem spawners. So as you'll see, although it's sped up, I'm running around mining stone and placing the spawners, constantly trying to spend that lapis before it reaches 250 resource maxed out. The reason why I'm not stood in one place building these is that I was looking for chests that may contain stone. I'm also looking for stone nodes as well where we can drop off miners every so often. Just that the stone's coming in at a rapid rate as much as the lapis is. Continue to do this for about 5 to 10 minutes running around placing golem spawners. And then eventually once you've used or generated 2400 you should get the achievement pop. General rule of thumb is to just keep spending as much lapis as you can and I found the golem spawners to be the best method for doing that. If you found this video guide useful, as always, please like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video.